welcome back. As you can see, I've done a little bit more work here on the uh, warehouse. Some of the stuff uh, we've done over here. And I've just noticed, just before I started recording, that I'm going to have to redo it again because this row here is supposed to be back one further. And I didn't notice that because I started on this end without bothering to look at what I had done over down here already. I've got the glowstone lighting under the chests, every other stack of chests, and it seems to look pretty good at night. And uh, that's about where that stands. I'm going to take a break from that right now because I'm thinking I want to get into some of these other things that, frankly, practically everybody and their brother that's gotten into one of the 1.4 updates has already done. And uh, speaking of which, I have gotten up to 1.4.4 because one of the nice things about recent changes is that updates to things like Optifine happen really quickly now. And so there you go. So let's see here. Uh, probably not anything of what I need. Okay. I uh, will do. Let's see what's in here. I always forget about this chest. All right. Quit nagging, cat. You're inside. That should be enough. Okay. Uh. That's right, that's right. There was something real quick I can do with uh, a stair. Oh, for crying out loud. Face the right direction. All right, there we go. I should actually only need just the one. This is something that uh, I kind of held off on when I was doing this because I was waiting for the upside down stairs with corner matching. Yeah. Tiny little detail, I know, but it sort of completes the look very nicely. All right. All right, I'm going to uh, head back out to the gold farm area, but not to work on the gold farm. I'm going to be doing something else that I think will be a much better idea. So I'm going to head out there, and I'll catch you there. All right, here we are. And one of the reasons I wanted to come out here was not to work on a gold farm, like I said, because uh, while I am continuing that work off camera, because it has become really a drudge of a job, wanted to do something about wither skeletons. So, let's see, I got enough of these on me. I'll just get a couple of more just to be sure. And I'll stash these here because they don't work here. And let's see, let's go ahead and get one started. Pick up some more ender pearls just to make sure that I have enough. Now, I'm going to head out here. You see, there is a, uh, there is a, uh, another fortress out here. Now, where there is another fortress, there can be wither. And, of course, there can be busybody, uh, cast. Let's go ahead and turn the brightness up for the nether. 
All right. Now the trick is remembering just exactly how I got up there in the first place. Ah. Anyway. Well, I know I originally got up here by pillaring up, but I uh, was just looking to see if I've done any kind of staircase going up or anything like that, but it looks like I didn't. So... I'm just going to make a little cobble bridge heading out there. And I'll see about half slatting it later on. And let's see. It occurs to me something that would make it easier. I do believe I have some ladders in here. sure if that's going to be enough. Oh, well, that'll be enough. Okay. Okay, right straight up the side to the top. As you can see, I have been up here some, uh, putting down half slabs. But uh, what I need to do, if I recall the videos I've seen about it, is I need to locate an intersection. Because apparently an intersection on one of these nether fortress bridges is where the... Uh, Wither will spawn. And I'm thinking maybe down this way. Okay, this is an intersection. That's good. I don't suppose that qualifies as an intersection. Well, that's okay. Let's see what else we've got for intersections around here. Uh, if I understand correctly, this would not count because there is uh, a bit of an actual structure built on it. Ooh, what is all this lag? Okay, here's another intersection. Does it meet up with that other one? It would be really good if it did. Uh, not on that level, of course. the goodies drop in the lava. Okay. Alright. 
No intersection here, but this might be a route to the other intersection. Sort of, kind of. Alright, so first thing I need to do is kill this wither skeleton. Alright, I need to take up a lot of these half slabs, clear this intersection. And then there is something else I can do to build out the area and give them more area to spawn. If I come down here like so, build on to this, Got it right. And they should spawn pretty much all the way down to here. And then, let's see, looking at the uh, chunk numbers here. Yeah. All right, maybe I don't have it exactly right, but it should be close enough. down to uh, where it says on the z-axis C37 and in parentheses 10. That's chunk 37, block 10 in that chunk. 10 blocks this way. Bring that all the way out to 15. Or 0 actually. and then just kind of square off the area. Uh, 
and level it out. By taking down these railings. this and all of that. And the half slabs. over here, all the way over to where it meets up with that other opening. And then all of this area cleared out. And I think that uh, for withers, I'm going to have to make them three blocks high. Get rid of all these slabs. And what I need to do is go ahead and make up as many areas like this in this fortress as I can. And uh, then spend my time basically going between them. Go to one, check it, and then go to the other, check it, and uh, kill all the withers until I finally have enough wither skulls to do something with it. decent start here I think so I'm gonna work on this and get this finished out and I'll check back in in a bit all right I've made a little bit of progress here and uh, I got this area leveled out and uh, all flattened out and cobbled and whatnot replaced all the netherrack with cobble to prevent it from being blown away as in blown out from under me because a lot of this is open to lava down below I decided to do a little bit of looking on YouTube and see what I could find out about the wither spawning conditions and I found out and I'll link some videos in the description that give some give uh, a lot more details of what I'm going to go into that these uh, five block wide walkways in the nether fortress anywhere on this five block wide walkway the withers can spawn and in particular where two of these walkways meet like here you got a block right there in the center of the walkway. And you go nine blocks either side of that walkway in all four directions. And that defines a 19 by 19 square area where the withers can spawn. And if I recall correctly, I believe it's like they can spawn up to five blocks below that. And I forget how much higher, but I believe it's enough to where you could easily put together a three, possibly four level uh, wither farm. And like, for example, right here is another such inset, intersection. And this mushroom just happens to be in the right spot. Let me grab those. And now, so if... Uh, if I dig nine blocks this way from here, all right, go ahead. 
ahead and <clears throat> block this in. Two, three. Get out of the way, Pikmin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'll go ahead and fill that in with cobblestone so it's more easy to see. I'm going to do the same thing in the other three directions. Now I've defined another 19 by 19 box where the nethers can spawn. So what I do is go through this way, being careful not to step into any open lava pits. Yes, these guys can spawn out here, too. Very good. Okay, so what I do here is uh, the area defined by these uh, marked out areas here, these 19 by 19 boxes, and apparently right here you've got two of them to butt right up against each other, which is good. That represents area where the withers, the wither skeletons, can spawn. And by clearing that out, I maximize the area where they can spawn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this on, uh, Well, pretty much all the intersections I can find that meet these requirements on this nether fortress. And then what I'm going to do is spend a bunch of time just kind of making the rounds between them. Visit them all in turn. And, uh... I will have a pretty good sized area where wither skeletons can spawn. Because outside of uh, the areas that they defined in those videos, there's a couple of them. I'll, like I said, I'll link them in the description. Outside of those special areas, the withers do not spawn. And so it makes it easier to uh, isolate where they can spawn, where they're going to appear. Just making a series of 19 by 19 boxes. Another place they can spawn, of course, is anywhere on these uh, five block wide bridge sections. And 
So by defining these areas, maxing them out, paving them with cobblestone so that gas can't destroy the floor and unpleasant things like that, you're maximizing the area where these guys can appear, have a better chance of getting those rare drops, the wither skulls. Okay, so I'm going to work on that. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. Just collect the uh, nether brick instead. All right, let's just tear into this wall. Come around this side. tear into it from here. I can see there's a certain amount of overlap going on, and that's fine. I clear out all the spawnable area, then uh, I'll have a large area where these wither skeletons can spawn, and I'll be able to hang out here and just farm these things up like crazy. And of course, once I've got a reasonable number of wither skulls, then it will be time to get prepped and take on the wither. So I can think of a few places where I wouldn't mind having one of those beacons. But there you go. I've got one two of these areas filled out now and it looks to me like I'm going to be able to do several more and I'm just going to make the rounds between them just keep walking from one to the next to the next to the next and just kind of establish a little circuit that I, write, that I uh, walk looking for nether skeletons the, uh, the wither skeletons excuse me so that's pretty much about the size of that. Not a lot of uh, netherrack to get rid of. Gas can destroy it too easily, so naturally I'm going to fill it in with cobble that they can't destroy. Alright, this is going to shape up pretty good. I'm going to be able to come up with all the wither skulls I want. Let's see, I'm just wondering if there's another intersection through here. Not sure if that would count as an intersection, but uh, this one certainly does. And there's a blaze spawner up there, so I may have to go in and lock that down before I do anything with that intersection. But there you have it. Wither farming made easy, I suppose. something with the food in case one of those boys shows up. All right. This area is just about ready. Honestly, I think I should do reasonably well, even if I just stick with one level on each of these areas. Well, oh, gee, did I offend you? Good.
get enough of these areas defined and I just walk between them and while I'm far enough away they spawn in the others and they're waiting when I get there theoretically at least it should add up to quite a bit of wither activity and a little bit of zombie pigman action as well now let's go take care of this chump. He's in the way. He's bound to get angry as soon as I get close enough. Gold bar. I'll take that. Alright, so that's pretty much what I think I'm going to be doing for the next several hours. Locating these intersections, getting them defined, and then clear the area out around them. Like, here's a spot right here. And I'll bet you this... Okay. But there is still... Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly. Perfect. And so I'll clear these half slabs out of here to find this area. Let's see, what do we got down here? I believe these rooms are uh, potential uh, wither skeleton spawns, both in here, down below, and in the, on the roof on top of them. So I'm going to have to look into that as well. But there is a lot of area here where these withers could spawn. And I'm going to start getting it marked out, identified, and uh, paved in cobbles so that they can. Hmm. Ah, here we have another one right there. Hmm. Let's see, I don't see any skulls this time. Oh, that's okay, it's a... It is supposed to be a rare drop, so that's fine. But at least I should have quite a bit of area to farm them. My aim isn't so good today. Ah, here we go. Well, it's busy around here today. Okay. So, I'm going to work on uh, expanding these spawning areas and farming up some wither skeletons and regular skeletons and zombie pigmen and so on and so forth. And we'll catch you in the next episode. And maybe, just maybe, I'll have enough of what I need to go for the wither. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.